Hello children. Today also we will continue the topic. A day in the garden. A day in the garden. We will continue the conversation between the Rangappa and the uh, children visiting the garden. Right. Uh, Rangappa asked, good, you know something about birds. Now, I will show you a few nests. You have to identify them. Will you? Children said yes. See children, have you uh, see this? Have you identified these nests? Yes. Children, first nest is uh, which bird nest? Which bird nest is this? Yes, this is weaver bird nest. This is weaver bird nest. Next one is which bird nest is this? Yes, this is tailor bird nest. Tailor bird nest. This bird, this stitch, two leaves as a tailor. Therefore, we call it as tailor bird. Next. See, look this picture. Which bird is this? Yes, owl. Owl's nest. This is owl nest. Yes, children. Next. Coming to next picture. Which bird is this? Yes, this is crow. This nest is crow's nest. Which bird nest is this? Yes, this is crow's nest. Ali said, Oh, look at the nest of weaver bird. It builds the nest better than a man who has thought this bird to build such a beautiful nest. Rangappa, yes, it is true, Ali. Do you know what happened a few days ago? Our friend Kalle, she was grass, grazing sheep. A car came and stopped. A man got out of the car and tried to pluck the weaver bird nest. Kalashi ran and stopped that man from plucking the nest. That man was surprised and asked, Why do you, why do you stop? Why do you stop me? Kalashi replied, You will take the nest and go away. When the weaver bird comes back, it will not find its nest and it will be in trouble. I can't bear to see that. That man was surprised to see Kalashi's love for birds. Is it right, children? Yes. He praised Kalashi for teaching him a lesson. He returned without touching the nest. Yes, we don't harm any bird's nest. Okay, children. Next, Likita, uh, Likita said, Rangapa, we also like to save the birds and their nest. What should we do? What should we do? What should we do the um, bird's nest to spoil the others? Or how we helpful to uh, birds and their nests? Rangapa uh, said, but, Build a small nest and hang them on trees near the school or your home. You also do like this. Keep small cups of water. Keep small cups of water here and there for the birds to drink. Keep small plates of grain for them to eat. Grow more trees and protect them. When we grow more trees, they live and they build, uh, build their nest on those trees. Right children? Yes, it helps to increase the number of birds. It helps to increase the number of birds. Here, one activity is there in your textbook. See children, do it yourself. Do it yourself. Build a nest for a bird. How we build a nest for a bird? Now we see. Take a used pot and close the mouth of the pot with a piece of cloth. Make a hole in the middle of the cloth so that the bird can go in and come out. Make a few small holes at the bottom of the pot. See here small holes we can see. 
so that the water does not collect inside the pot now the nest is ready with the help of elders hang the pot on the branch of a tree okay provide the birds with water and grains every day in that pot right children all of you do this with the help of your elders okay next vanaja asked don't the birds harm our fields rangappa answered that question no child on the other hand these birds are very helpful they eat the insect which harm the crops it helps the growth of crops one activity is there all of you do it do at your home collect the feathers drop it from the birds find out which birds feather they are take the help of the teacher or elder paste the feathers collected in a used notebook and prepare an album it's very nice children all of you do it your home okay next one question is there what's that question how are birds helpful to farmers how are birds helpful to farmers birds eat the insects which harm the crops birds eat the insects which harm the crops b i r d s birds e a t e t h e the i n s e c t s insects w h i c h which h a r m harm t h e the c r o p s crops birds eat the insects which harm the crops then the crops will grow very healthy right children yes next the seema ho oh, look at the seema said ho oh, look at the big spider it is in the tree these spiders also live in our houses don't they yes we all see uh, spiders in our houses aruna said yes they do they are lizards cockroaches house flies rats cats mosquitoes along with these spiders along with these dark domestic animals like cows buffaloes sheep dogs there are so many animals we rear in our houses yes children yes i will show you some other insects see look here i will show you some insects which insect is this loose here which insect is this bed bug which insect is this this is ant which insect is this mosquito mosquito m o s q u i t o mosquito which insect is this yes this is house fly which insect is this this is cockroach here children see which insect is this yes this is grasshopper this is in green color grasshopper which insect is this yes this is spider s p i d e r spider which insect is this yes it is dragon fly dragon fly next which insect is this honey bee honey bee next which insect is this scorpion next which insect is this it's very beautiful looking very beautiful that is butterfly b u t t e r f l y butterfly now the question is name some insects name some insects honey bee spider cockroach mosquito house fly etc honey bee h o n e y honey b e e b honey bee spider s p i d e r spider cockroach c o c k r o a c h cockroach mosquito m o s q u i t o mosquito house fly h o u s e f l y house fly etc what are next i will show you some domestic animals i will show you some domestic animals see children here some uh, domestic animals pictures are there cow 
buffalo, sheep, cat, pigeon and etc. See the question is what are domestic uh, what are domestic animals what are domestic animals animals that are we reared in our house are called domestic animals animals that are that we rear in our house are called domestic animals name some domestic animals name some domestic animals uh, which animals we reared yes dog cat cow buffalo sheep goat etc divaji dog cat cat c o w cow b u f f a l o buffalo s h e e p sheep g o a t goat o x ox etc next teresa teresa asked ho what leaped there likita asked don't be afraid it is a frog it leapt from pond to pond to the land teresa what does the frog do on the land ananda don't you know teresa the frog tortoise crocodile etc they live both in water and on land also these animals we call it as amphibians what we call amphibians give some name the name some animals which we live both in water and on land the question is name some animals which live both in water and on land they are frog tortoise crocodile etc f r o g frog t o r t o i s e tortoise and crocodile c r o c o d i l e crocodile and some more animals are there we should write etc thank you children shall we continue in the next class